Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Today's gospel speaks of two contemporary themes, the cross we all have to bear every day and its fruits that is life with capital letters, supernatural and eternal. When we listen to gospel, we stand up as a sign we want to follow its teaching. Jesus tells us to deny ourselves, not to follow the pleasure of our whims, as the psalmist claims, or as St. Paul cites to get rid of the deceiving greed. To take up our own cross is to accept the little mortifications we find every day along the way. We can be helped out by what Jesus said in his priestly sermon at the cynical, I am the true vine and my father is the wine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. Hopeful gardener pampering the grapes so they bear the best wine. Yes, we want to follow, O oh Lord. Yes, we are conscious the Father wishes to help us so our branches bear an abundant fruit in our earthly life, which we can later enjoy in eternal life. Saint Ignatius used to guide Saint Francis Xavier with the words of today's text. What profit is there for me to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? This is how he got appointment, the patron of missions, with the same idea in our minds. We can read the last canon of the canon law code and the salvation of souls, which must always be the supreme law in the church is to be kept before one's eye. And St. Augustine also has his famous lesson, which could be translated as, He who dedicates himself with true zeal to the salvation of souls has thus good reasons to hope for eternal life. The invitation is quite clear. The Virgin Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, helps us to advance in this way.